Hi everyone, it's Lee here from Click Studios. In this video I wanted to show you how to use the Remote Session Launcher. And in case you weren't aware what it is, it's a tool that Password State has that allows you to connect to machines out on your network without the need to enter a username and password. It will securely pull these credentials out of your Password State Vault and pass them through to the session automatically. The first thing you will need to do is ensure you have an account listed in Password State that has permissions to connect into the machine that you want. So for this, this demonstration, I'm doing a Windows 10 machine and the account that I'll be using is a domain account and the person is called Adam Wilson. So as you can see, I've configured this record here to have uh, Adam Wilson as an Active Directory account. Um, HaloX is the domain, A Wills is the username and his current Active Directory password. So once we have the account in there, the next thing we need to do is add in the host into the system. So if you go to view all host records um, and search for the host that you're intending to connect to and I've got one in here called Win10 Work 1 which is what I'll be using for this demonstration but if you need to add in a host manually you can either click in add host and follow the prompts or you can import in bulk via CSV file. Potentially you could also set up a host discovery job which uh, can automatically import hosts out of Active Directory or use the API to script adding in hosts in bulk. Now that we know that I've got my host into the system already, what I should do now is create a folder under the host tab and give it any kind of description and click save. Now once we've got that folder in there, we'll right click there and go add host to folder and search for the host that you want. Tick that box and click add selected hosts. Next we need to go back to host home and we now need to install the remote session launcher utility which uh, needs to be installed once per machine. Now there's no licensing restrictions on this uh, utility so you can deploy it to all the machines on your network if you like and to install it we need to click this button here and then click install remote session launcher and what that's doing now is downloading the MSI file directly through your browser and that comes from your password state web server so it's not reaching out to the internet. If we then run this MSI file it's just a simple installer that you need to click next to just two or three times and then click finish. That completes the installation of the utility. Next we have to configure the browser and by clicking that button and tick this option here to remember my choice for PS Launcher links and click the open PS Launcher button. You need to do that once per person per machine and it will differ depending on which browser you're using. The wording of that message might be slightly different. If you have any issues with that at all, here's some more instructions about how to configure that. Now if we return back to the host home, we need to set up what's called a remote session credential. And this is used to tell the remote session launcher which machines it is capable of connecting to and which account to use to log into the machines. So I've created a remote session credential already called Windows Machines and I've linked it to the Adam Wilson account that I showed you at the very start of this video. And by selecting RDP, it can connect to any Windows machine using the RDP protocol. If you wanted to further narrow this down to what this uh, credential can connect to, you can choose what type of hosts that you want to connect and even down to operating system. So we could just choose Windows 10 uh, if I can find it, we can just choose Windows 10 like that. Now if you want to narrow it down even further, you can exclude or include hosts depending on what you like to do. So as it stands now, this remote session credential will be able to connect to all Windows 10 machines on my network using the Adam Wilson account. So if we click save to that now, you'll notice we can then click on the host in your uh, navigation tree there and you should be able to just click launch and that should log you directly into the machine but as you'll see when I click launch now my browser will generally block any sort of pop-up from your password state website and you'll notice that happened up the top right hand corner so if we just allow block ups to happen from your password state website and you should now just be able to go and click launch and it should log you directly into the machine 
that's it for this video. I hope this has helped you learn how to use the Remote Session Launcher. If you have any queries, please don't hesitate to send us a support call to support at clickstudios.com.au. Thanks for watching.